Okay, now uh, calculating arc length of a curve. Uh, this comes directly from, I mean, the three-dimensional analogy of the quadratic theorem. Not quadratic theorem, Pythagorean theorem, sorry, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, so uh, calculating distance, well, we'll use the idea of distance to make tiny little triangles. If we make the triangles infinitely small, we can turn those in, uh, into an integral by making them infinitely small, okay? So let's try to calculate the arc length of the curve. So given the formulas that we have, this is the same formula, just written in a slightly different format. And so um, <clears throat> let's say we want to find the arc length Okay, so we're going to say uh, r of t, which is going to equal now t three cosine of t and three sine of t. Okay, we have to do this on an interval to give us our boundary terms. So this would be negative five less than or equal to t which was less than or equal to these. But, okay. So, uh, to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the derivative of each one of the components. Uh, this will be uh, our x, our y, and our z. And we're gonna take the derivative with respect to time of each one of them. And then we're gonna integrate this thing from negative five to five, okay? So, the length of this problem, <coughs> oh, and a lot of times calculating the arc length is not um, the easiest thing to do. There are a lot of algebraic tricks that end up going into problems like this. Uh, 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 completing the square and uh, other techniques that a lot of people may have forgotten, the, yeah, they end up getting incorporated into these problems a lot of times. And the main reason for that is that, like, why would you do something like completing the square or uh, manipulating the problem in that way? Is because uh, by completing the square and creating a perfect square, you're able to get rid of the square root. Okay, that square root ends up uh, creating difficulties within the problem. So the length of this guy right here. We equal the integral now from negative 5 to 5 of the square root. Now, the derivative of t is just going to be 1. So we have 1 squared right there. All right. Now, we're going to take the root of cosine, which is going to be negative sine. So that's going to be negative 3 sine of t. And now the derivative of sine will be cosine. So plus now write like this. Three cosine of t squared. And integral with respect to t. Alright. So <coughs> that would be the integral from negative 5 to 5 of the square root. So that's going to be 1 plus 9 sine of square of t plus 9 times cosine square of t. And it would be an integral with respect to t. And now if we remember our rules from trigonometry, sine squared plus cosine squared equals one, okay? So I can pull a nine out of this, it would be nine times sine squared plus cosine squared. Uh, so nine times one. So <clears throat> this would be the integral from negative five to five with the square root of one plus nine, 
And so that will equal the integral from negative 5 to 5 of just the square root of 10. And we would do an integral with respect to t. We're not starting to page because we're in another room. But at this point of the problem, um, we're just integrating a constant. Okay? So it becomes that constant multiplied by t. So from here, we would say that, okay, so this thing right here would be the same thing as what, I mean, after we evaluate the integral, is that this would equal the square root of 10 multiplied by t evaluated at negative 5 and at 5. So now we're going to have to plug our boundaries into this one. So that would be the square root of 10 times 5 minus the square root of 10 and multiplied by negative 5. So that would be 5 root 10 plus 5 root 10. Because we have two five root times. So if you add it together, it's good. Ten times square root of ten. So arcly, um, to be honest, uh, some of the intervals can become very difficult. Uh, I remember one when I was a graduate student up in Arlington that I covered a, a whiteboard from wall to wall, had to erase the whole thing and did it again. I mean, and continued the problem from wall to wall. And then I finally got to the answer. Um, so the thing must you know like weird little tricks and stuff. So um, it's basically follow the form. 